Hi everyone! This video is a product unboxing video. It is a very exciting product that I'm passionate about because it's going to make it possible for me to teach you how to do things like this babbling brook quilt that I get so many emails about and match plaids or sew perfect seam allowances. It's going to help you cut appliques and line up projects more accurately than you've ever been able to do before. It is also going to help you cut your fabrics and in a way that you may have never seen before. So I guess it's time to open the box and show you what I've got. It's by a company called Cutter Pillar and I think it's a play on Caterpillar. <laughs> it's not that easy to say, but I have grown to love every one of their products, so you'll be seeing all of them available at Creative Feet very soon. If you've ever selected a material that has stripes in it and then realized that it's not so simple to sew because you have all these different lines and elements within the material to line up, you're going to love this product. In this box is a light box of sorts, but it actually is not a light box. It is a light tablet. This is how it comes packaged. Go ahead and pull it out of the box. On each of the corners, it's protected during shipment by these foam pads and so you can just pull those off and I would save them because you might want to actually start bringing this to class when you take classes at stores or in retreats and there are tote bags available for you to carry it and I would still want to use these inside of that tote bag. These light tablets are called the Glow series and this is the basic glow. It comes with not just the light box but also this wonderful self-healing mat that is patented. It has a completely unique quality to it in that it grabs the surface that it is on. So when you go to remove it from the bag it's going to be a little loud. I'm going to stop talking for a second so I can open this without making your ears um, ring. Once you release it from the bag, then you can go ahead and pull it out. And I would save this as well as the corner protectors so that your mat stays nice and clean when you travel with it. What makes their self-healing mat so much better than any others is the sticky backside. So it will not move. So once it pl is placed on the table, it's very difficult to get it to slip. Here's an example of another board that I have. And it just slides real easily on the surface. So we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll do both hands, or I'll move both boards at the same time. And you can see this one did not move at all. And that is really important because even though you can use it in place of all your other cutting mat, it is going to be positioned on top of the tablet. So having it be non-slip protects the tablet from any possible damage. The tablet itself is covered in a uh, foam-like cover. It's an envelope, so once again, you can keep it to use when traveling. Go ahead and remove the tape and pull it out. I've decided to take all of the extra components and put it in the largest of these two envelopes and put my pad corners in there as well. And now I won't be searching for them when I want to take this on the road. This basic glow has a beautiful shiny surface on it. I love the color, I don't know about you. It also has these four feet on the bottom to keep it from slipping on your surface that you're going to put it on. Let's see how well it holds. Very nice. You can move it, but it's not, it's not slippery. And now you position your wonderful cutting mat on top of the white area, and that is what will illuminate when we plug this in. Let's see how well it 
you can see with just my fingernail that I'm pushing with the edge of my fingernail and it's very hard to move the entire thing but it is not slipping at all on the actual tablet which will keep it safe from any injury go ahead and plug it in you have this little twist tie you just untwist it this looks like many uh, cell phone cords that you may have lying around but it's flat and it'll take up less room in your bag when you go to travel with it and I would imagine that this part is very important to only be used for your tablet. The USB goes in just as it would in your cell phone plug. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my power supply. I have plugged it in and now I'm going to plug it into the side of the actual tablet. You can see it has a port right on the side of that and it's right near the power icon or um, illustration and look at this I'm upside down and that pad stayed in place that is really holding on so go ahead and put this in make sure you put it in the so that it matches the appearance of the actual male end and female end now that it's plugged in there is a symbol on the actual tablet showing you that that is the power and when you tap it once it brightens to that level of brightness twice to that level and then three times to that level that is really nice because I have light sensitivity and sometimes I can't handle the light as bright as they might put it so in this instance we have a piece of material and I want to make sure that I line up all my lines properly and despite trying on my own I did not get it lined up perfectly so if I had this light box I would be able to line up using the gridded line seeing through the fabric and being able to make sure that it was straight and end up with a much better seam I'm not sure if you can see or not but the lines are visible even though this has multiple lines and I'll be able to see the lines through the fabric to cut precisely. You have the ability to line up with the outer lines and also with lines going through the fabric. Another really neat feature of all of their pads is that they have on this on this side they have they have inches, they have centimeters and millimeters and then they also have the fractions. So they have eighth inch quarter inch, three quarter inch, so you can be very precise in your cutting and then it allows you to just cut right over the lit area. They also have diagonal lines to help you cut different shapes. One of the really exciting uses for this is to use it for applique. You have uh, two different situations when you're doing an applique. One is you have to cut out your pieces and the other is then you have to position them on top of a pattern so you'll have the pattern lit up and be able to see that you're positioning your pieces perfectly when after you have cut out your shapes and before you cut out your shapes you're able to lay this is our fuse and fuse stabilizer and you can trace right through your appliques if you need to flip them over you don't have to trace through the paper because you'll be able to see through the paper even though the paper is flipped upside down. Use masking tape or washi tape to hold down the paper. But you see all these lines coming through? That can be a little distracting. What Caterpillar has done is created another pad that can be used with this. Instead of having lines it has the implication or an implied line that's see-through so you still have the grid for helping you cut but you don't have black lines to distract from the lines that you see on your applique. This mat, which is priced very affordably, fits the entire surface of the actual tablet 
and you can turn the light on and off on top of the actual mat itself without all of the lines beneath it you'll be able to see even clearer and you can see how much easier it was to see that through there in addition to that it's also easier to see these fine lines on this and also having the ability to change that the amount of light that illuminates through is a tremendous help and I have been told that this is the brightest of all of the tablets so there's no tablet that goes as bright as the glows that design and tape it down using a little bit of either painters tape or the washi tape that we use for other sewing applications just put a couple pieces of it on there to keep it from moving and do the same thing with our fuse and fuse stabilizer one of the things I really like about the fact that it's a tablet is that it's, it's got what's called a low profile so it's very low on the table so that you can put your hand down and not have any pressure against your arm as I used to have with my light box which used to stand this tall and I would have to lift my elbow up and I always felt like this pressure cutting across my arm as I tried to write so this is much more ergonomic for you and you just go ahead and you're able to trace your applique designs out and only draw one time instead of having to flip your paper over and then trace again and this is the Wise Owl shopping bag owl pattern that is available at creativefeet.com should you want to try out an applique project with your new cutter pillar basic. Another very fun project that you can do with the use of the glow is foundation paper piecing. I did this and you can see that the paper has not been sewn through at all using a technique that I've come up with that uses our satin edge presser foot, our wonderful wooden pressers, and the glow. The video on how I do foundation paper piecing will be uploading soon, so if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, be sure to do so now, and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified when new videos come out and when I go live. If you liked what you saw on this video, be sure to hit the like button. You'll find links in the description below for all of the products that you've seen. Thanks for watching.